MMA rants and raves, Strike Force Houston, Mola Wall versus Rafael Feijão. Guys, let's talk about this fight. Beginning of the fight, just 428. You saw that, of course, Lawal, which didn't surprise anyone, was going for a takedown. World class wrestler, really good, trying to get Feijão down. Feijão, really good balance. I mean, this really impressed me. You see this in the NFL running backs when just about to land and their knee hits the ground when they're down. They use their hand to support the balance and continue going, and that's what you saw here. You saw Feijar using his hand to steady himself, not to get down, because once you're too far down, the wrestler has you down, then you're in trouble. So he did well with his balance. And basically, you know, he was able to get back to his feet. Then a 4-4. Four, four. I mean, the wall, he comes up with this wrestling entertainment move. It was like some kind of sidewalk slam, as they call it. I mean, he just lifted Feijau sideways and just dropped him on the mat. And let me tell you something, Feijau was lucky. He didn't break his shoulder. It seemed like he landed on his shoulder or something. And it looked like he was in trouble after that. But to my surprise, I mean, Feijau just pops right back up. The guy just sprung up like a cat. I was really surprised. Never saw anything like that. After like this huge slam, which may knock some people out or really seriously injure somebody, just gets right back up again. So, and basically for the rest of the round, it just seemed that Feijia was throwing some good jabs, landing them, good Muay Thai knees, and, you know, it was a good round for both fighters, but it looks like Feijia took that round. Second round was a different story. You basically saw Lawal getting a takedown, doing some ground and pound, during that round, and then you saw Feijiao, very good, you know, he's a guy, difficult to take down, also gets back to his feet when he has to, so he's a very tough guy, he's strong, he's very active, even on his back, able to get back to his feet, but when you have a guy who's taking you down, you basically get to this defensive mode, and it seemed that was the case, it looks like Mo was pushing him up towards against the cage, he was trying to get inside, maybe get another takedown, or do some striking, and then he started to land, he's nasty body shots and you saw Feijiao gasping it looked like he was in trouble and they mentioned he had conditioning issues in the past so you know it was basically a very dominant performance by King Mo throughout that round landing most of the strikes and the takedown so you definitely give round two to King Mo third round the fight starts and it looked like Mo had some kind of it looked like Mo was in a stand-up posture. He was looking to stand up a Feijo, and I'm like, wait a minute, you know, this is not a good idea. Because he was looking to get inside, stand up, rather than what he was doing in the first round, lowering the arm, lowering his head, maybe looking for a takedown. I said, wait a minute, this may be a big mistake. And then he got brutalized with a nasty right by Feijo that landed, and you saw Mo backpedaling, and then Feijo was throwing combinations, coming at him with knees and everything he had. 420, Mo went down, rightfully so. I mean, Mo, you got to give the guy credit. Really good chin. He was getting brutalized. I mean, that punch alone may have knocked out many fighters. At 403, you saw Fei Zhao leaning over Mo, basically brutalizing him with punches to the head, hammer fists coming at him, hammer fists, and then you see Mo still fighting. I mean, he gets back up again, and he tries to push back Fei Zhao against the cage. And that's when the assault really started. I mean, Feijão landed. I mean, I was counting about 19 elbows, the point of his elbow to the head. I've never seen a man take this type of punishment like that. Sharp elbows to the side of the head. One, two, three. And you see Mo still holding on, still holding on, still trying to stay up. Think of something, holding off for Dale life, but it just wasn't going to work. I mean, he was just getting absolutely destroyed by this monster, this, this guy named Feijão. And the fight was stopped. Big John stopped the fight, and Feijiao took the victory and is the new Strike Force light heavyweight champion, and deservingly so. Now, as far as this Feijiao guy, wow, I was really impressed with this guy. I mean, he came back from a long time out and looked really good. Didn't look like there was any ring rust. He didn't show the deep breaths after he took those body shots, but anybody would. I mean, he showed quickness. His jabs were great. His Muay Thai is world class. He's quick. He's difficult to take down. When you take him down, he just springs back to his feet. Very impressed. Very impressed by Fei Zhao. It was a great fight.
I'd like to know what you thought about the fight, guys. Please leave your comments below the video, rate this video, and subscribe. And thank you for tuning in.